What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Rouse Baseball Japanese card break. And today it is day four of our BBM second version card break. And uh, we are going to uh, finish off the pack. What we've been doing, we're packs. What we've been doing is we've been doing uh, one uh, quarter of the box a day, and this is day four, and uh, we've come up with some pretty neat stuff. Nothing, uh, you know, that's really knocked our socks off, but we've had some quality cards that we've been able to uh, able to get. So today, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open the final five packs. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a relic or an auto, but as I mentioned before, I've never pulled anything out of here. I'd love to be able to get a Japanism card, but uh, I don't even think we've pulled that. That's one of the parallels in the past so let's see what we could do and uh hopefully we get ourselves something decent so here we go without further ado we're gonna open pack one and for those of you who've been around us the last couple of days uh getting into the japanese packs is like trying to break into a bank and very very difficult to do it so we push the cards down we give it a little trim across the top this gives us a head start so we can open up the pack and hopefully be able to get ourselves something decent so without further ado, here we go in the pack number one. And so it's like we have a Hanshin Tiger on the back, but on the top we have a cross blossom of Siyoshiwada, a left-handed pitcher for the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. And then our second one we have of, uh, we have an outfielder, Seiji Kawagoe of the, um, of the Cebu Lions. And our next one here is of Yushi uh, Shimizu uh, for the Nippon Ham Fighters. He's their catcher. And then we got a Groundmaster. And a Groundmaster is a Ryuhi uh, Matsuyama, outfielder for the Hiroshima Carp. And so the Groundmaster card. I don't think this thing is anything particularly special on the back of that. So, But we have a Groundmaster insert. Kind of cool. And then I've got a ceremonial first pitch history, and obviously this is from 1996 at the Tokyo Dome. And who is throwing out the pitch here? And this is of, looks like Naoki. Uh, I can't see the last name so well here. It's on the side. I hate it when they put the stuff on the side like that. They, I know Tops has been known to do some of that stuff. I don't know if it's a ball or a strike. But that's going back 25 years ago now. And that's a first pitch card. And now we have the catcher, uh, Motohiro Shima, for the Yakult Swallows. And then our next card, I'm just going to put her over here. And our next card we have is uh, Hikoru uh, Ito, uh, catcher for the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. And we finish this pack off with a Hanshin Tiger, and it is uh, Fumiya Hojo. And... Um, Hojo number two for the Han Shin Tigers. So here comes our next pack. We're ready to go underway. And um, we're going to snip it across and see how we are able to do here. And we'll break it open, break it down, and uh, see what we're able to come up with. So it looks like we got a Shota Iminaga on the back side. Nothing too spectacular, at least that we can see in the middle. And here we go. We start off with the Cebu Lions, Tatsumi, uh, Tatsuya Imai for the Lions. There he is. And we'll set him aside. And then there's a Jabari Blash. We've already seen Jabari before in the last couple of days. And our next card that we have here, and this is uh, Otako Yamakawa. A big Arcist card. And again, as I said before, I'm not sure what a big Arcist is. I'll have to look that up. And now we have a Hiroshima Carp team card. And so obviously we've got, looks like the manager on the left and one of the uh, ballplayers on the right there. I'm not sure who that is pictured there. Number 14, I will look him up at a later date. And then we have a insert parallel, and that is of Kodai Senga of the Fukuoka South Bank Hawks. This card is not numbered, so this is one of the non-numbered parallels. So there he is, Kodai Senga. And, of course, you can see the facsimile autograph on the card. And then we have Kaida Sano of the Yokama Dana Bay Stars. Follow up that up with uh, Kenta Itohara for the Han Shin Tigers. Looks like he's the captain. He's an infielder, so if he's wearing a C, 
probably the captain of the team. And then we have Shota Imanaga. So we saw this Imanaga picture the other day, and we said, I wonder if that's a short print. Um, now that I've seen two, I'm pretty convinced that that is not a short print. You don't get two. Uh, I wouldn't think you're going to get two print, short prints in a box like that, but you never know. And let's see what we got for our next pack. And our next pack we got coming up, Cherry Blossom or Cross Blossom on the back. And here you can see the difference. There is the base card for Koneko, and there is the, the scripted parallel, auto parallel card for Koneko on this one here. And enough Koneko. Uh, we've got our next one. There. Hey, we talked about Ray Takahashi earlier. There's another Ray Takahashi, the Sidewinder from Fukuoka. And there he's followed by uh, Nishikawa for the outfielder for the Ham Fighters. And as we said, he was posted, but unfortunately he was not um, signed by a major league team. And here we have a Occult Swallows. And obviously we got a bunch of cardboard cutouts in that stand. A lot of people uh, holding up something there. And it looks like a mascot sitting on the in-between. And we saw a lot of that last year, a lot of cardboard cutouts in the stands, and I have a feeling we're going to see more of it this year, unfortunately. And our next one is a Yukult Swallow, and that would be a Taishi Hiruka. And our next card that we have is Kentaro Taira of the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. And then we have Seiya Kanami of the Hanshin Tigers infielder. And lastly, we have a cross blossom and the cross blossom of Yokohama Danabe star, uh, Toshiro Miyazaki, and he's an infielder for them. So that's kind of cool. So now we got two more packs to go. And uh, as we've gone through this box, we're starting to see some doubles. I don't remember getting too many doubles in the uh, first version, but this one here, we seem to be getting our fair share of some doubles along the way. Um... So maybe they've been taking a page out of the Tops playbook and uh, giving us some uh, extra cards that we really don't want or need rather than giving us maybe closer to the full set in the box. But uh, you never know. So here we go. Here comes our next one. It looks like we've got a cross blossom on the back. And we'll pull that up in a minute and we'll have a look. And we got this one here. We have, we've seen this guy before. He's with the Orcs Buffaloes and that's uh, Yamioka. And our next guy is going to be from the Chivalote Marines, and that's Tatsuhiro Tamura. He's one of their catchers. And the next one up we have is Daike Tajima of the Oryx Buffaloes, left-hander. I don't know. I don't remember him before. I don't like the way he hooks the ball back behind. Interesting take back. But we do have another Groundmaster, and this time it is of the Yamuri Giants, and that's of uh, Yoshiyuki Kamai. Uh, outfielder for the Giants. Uh, I don't think there's anything special about that card. So kind of neat. There he is there, Groundmaster. Ceremonial first pitch. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Who is he? And that is Toshiro Yanagiya. Yanagiga. Yanagi, Yanagiba. Don't know who he is, but looks like he's got some decent form. Not a young guy. I wonder if he could throw some heat. Next guy up is... Yoshiyuki Kamai of the uh, Giants outfielder. Didn't we just see him on a... Uh, was that him with the ground uh, groundmaster? And sure enough, it was. That's the same guy. All right. And our next card is... Hey, there's a double of Morishida. So happy to get doubles of Masato Morishida, as we talked about the other day. The young 20-year-old uh, last year. Seemed to be 21-year-old or 21-year-old last year. I think he was 99, wasn't he? No, nope, sorry, he was 23 last year. 23-year-old right-hander, 10-4 with the carp. Hey, and there we go. We got Tyler Austin, the former New York Yankee and uh, Minnesota twin, San Francisco Giant, who uh, started off with a bang with the Dada Bay Stars last year. And it looks like he's going to have himself a place to stay next year in Japan. Uh, that would be Tyler Austin. And down to our last pack. We're hoping for some last pack magic. Maybe we pull an auto. Maybe we pull a patch. Maybe we stay consistent and don't do anything. Uh, maybe we get a numbered card. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Doesn't look like there's any autograph. Well, we don't know about an autograph, but definitely not a patch. And so we kick this pack off with uh, Nobuhiro Matsuda of the Fukuoka Soft Bank Hawks, a cross blossom. 
And then we got Waturo Matsumoto for the Cebu Lions. And then our next one is we have Ujirio Moji for the Rakuten Golden Eagles. And who's the proud ace today? Well, that would be Sagano, who we've been flapping about for the last few days. The guy who was posted, who ended up signing four years, $40 million with the Giants. There's the proud ace of the Giants. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a star, that's for sure. And then you got Yuki Yangida, big Arcus card for the uh, Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. And then we're followed up with a, another uh, digital signature card, and this is of uh, Takumi Yamamoto for the Chinichi Dragons. This one here is not numbered. And so uh, not a numbered uh, insert. And then we have our next one is uh, Yasutaka Shiomo, Shiomi for the Occult Swallows outfielder. And last but not least, we have uh, Yashio Itoi of the Hanshin Tigers outfielder. Pretty cool. All right, everybody. Well, listen, I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to watch another Last Rouse Baseball video production. We hope you all have a great day. Come on back and see us again later because we're going to do it all over again. And next up, we're going to do a epic 2019 Hiroshima Toyo Carp Rookies and Stars box, and hopefully we can pull something good. Take care, everybody. See you again later.